Hi everyone, a quick video on the Esme digital background. So I'm just going to use this image here. So I've selected with the marquee tool, edit and copy, and then I'm going to come here and edit and paste, making sure that I am on the subject layer. You can also go to file and place embedded as well. So I'm just going to place Bella here and then I'm going to use my select subject feature. I am using the cloud because it just makes a better selection. If you don't have select subject, just use your quick selection tool. I'm then going to go to select a mask and refine hair. I'm going to hit enter. Then I'm just going to click here, go on my brush tool and then make sure my brush is 100% opacity and just mask in anywhere that has been missed by Photoshop or mask anywhere that needs removing. So I've turned the hardness up on the brush just for that bit of arm there and there's a little bit of arm there as well. Whoops, gone a little bit over. I'm only doing this really, really quick. So I would normally make a bit of a better selection and be a bit more precise, but that'll do. So then hit that again and add the layer mask. So this is what you're left with. I'm going to turn up the size of the brush and just remove this bit here. And then I'm going to turn down the hardness and then around 50% opacity. I'm just going to remove this darker bit around the edge and I'm keeping it at 50% so I can just keep a few of those stray hairs. Okay. So obviously this is a completely unedited image. There's no skin smoothing or anything. I'm not going to do that either. What I'm going to do is bring a little bit of light up here because you can see she's backlit and there's not much light coming from this direction. So I'm going to, let's do this with a levels layer so it's a bit harsher and we'll bring up those highlights, invert that, command or control I and then I'm just going to mask that light over this direction. I'm just going to add a layer mask to the blur here and use a 40% opacity brush. Use my black brush and mask a little bit off Bella here. Then I'm going to come to Bella's layer. So I'm making sure that I've selected the subject layer and I'm going to add a color balance layer and I'm going to add a little bit of yellow, a touch of green and a touch of red. And then I'm going to create a clipping mask so it's just on her. So if I turn that off and on, you can see the difference there. So we're just blending those tones in and that's how I would edit using this background, but obviously just making sure that, um, whoops, just making sure that she's the right size, make her a little bit bigger actually, and we get that masking right and then we're colour toning with um, the colour balance layer. Hope this helps, take care everyone, bye!